welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me, Mohammed from Masco Tech, and today we will be learning about four loops. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's start right into the video. So, today we will learn about for loops. What is a for loop? A for loop is a simple way of writing a while loop. So guys, before we start, I have some important settings for our editor p5.js, so make sure to follow them. The first one is you have to keep you have to turn on auto refresh. So you don't have to keep clicking the play button again and again to run the code. It just auto refreshes and the code runs by itself. And second, you can change the name of the program you're making so you can edit it and change it. I named them four loops because that's what the lesson is for today. And you can sign up, it's free. So for settings, you have general settings which you can choose the theme you want. I prefer a dog for myself. You can change the text size, you can turn on turn on or off autosave, word wrap, and there are more settings you can change or I prefer to change so that's it and now we're gonna start making a while loop so guys right over here I made a while loop and it was a long process but it was kind of easy because I already learned about it and now I will see you show you how to make a for loop it's for loop is a short way of a while loop so it's way easier for for loop so let's let me show you an example for it. So, let me show you how a for loop works. A for loop is written like for, followed by parentheses, then in between the parentheses there is a start and then a semicolon, then how long the code will be, how long the loop will be, semicolon, and the change. Sem you can put a semicolon there or you can just put the end parentheses. It's your wish. So I put a semicolon there, and yeah, and in between the open and curly, open and close curly bracket, we will type in the main code to run. So let me show you how to make a for loop in the real editor. So guys, now we're gonna start making the for loop. So as you have seen in the example, so first we will be commenting the while loop out. So to comment it out, you put a front slash then the star and you go to the last of the while loop to the back i mean to the close curly bracket and you put a star and then a front slash so it comments out this and now we're gonna make a while for loop for loop so for followed by parentheses an open curly bracket and a close curly bracket in between the parentheses there should be two or three if you want uh, semicolons and now as you know the first one will be the start start the first one will be the start so the start is where is equal where y is equal to 100 so let's copy it and paste it in here and then the second one will be the how long will be the y is less than 300 so let's copy and paste it in here Let's do that. Yup, and the last and finally, the last one is how the change. The change will be y plus is equals to 20. So copy and paste. There we go. Now we only need is the code to run. So the code to run will be the text size and the text. So text and the text size control V. Hmm, there seems to be a problem. They can't read they say channels not defined. So oh we have to put the variable variable channel. We have to take it out of the comment section. I mean comments. The part we commented out, we have to take it out of there and paste it up here. So yeah, there we go. Our program started working with for loop. So that's how you make a for loop. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I will see you next time.